You know what I realized I always say when I make a video? I always say, this is going to be a really cool video. Well, I'm telling you what, the hobby we have, as we all know, many of you regulars tuning in, there's something different about these points, and you haven't seen a lot of these. Uh, but I know something more about court, courts now because of you guys. Now, this is going to be a really cool video because this, although you can't see it now, we're going to get a close-up. This is all the courts, and this comes from one bin, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty much one bin. I don't keep these nice scrapers in a particular bin. But those, all those points come from right here in this wonderful little place right here. Look at that. Of course, there's my smoky quartz. Some good stuff in there. And for different varieties, I can go over here and I can get some serrated, which is really cool. Throwing the idea out there for folks. But today, it's winter. You know, we got to make some of these display videos. And uh, right here, the reason these are together is not style. It's the particular type of quartz. Uh, it's a yellow quartz. This stuff, as you're going to see close up, is riddled with yellow uh, veins. Riddled with yellow veins. So we're going to get a close up. See, that's just a preview. And some of the veins, they are pink. Just a couple. I couldn't leave those out though. I mean, that was unique as could be. But riddled with yellow. It's a yellowish quartz. Definite awesome stuff all together here in North Carolina. So I want to go through it. And I think I'm just going to go clockwise because uh, here's, here's some great stuff. Because uh, as many of you have helped me appreciate, the tools are to be coveted, especially if they're a certain size for me or just a certain workmanship. This is a great hide scraper. Uh, I'm sure they could have scraped anything they wanted to with it, but uh, I'm telling you what, it was about their meals, it was about their protein, it was about another day, uh, and getting it done. And you can tell if you put this in your hand, it's the perfect size to get some work done. You can leverage it with your thumb. Uh, it's worked just about every inch, so that was just a great hide scraper. But it, it's riddled with the yellowish veins in the quartz. This is one I recently found, so thin, has a couple indentations on each end. A quartz scraper. Tools, vital for their lives. Stone Age North American Indians we're looking at here, Eastern North Carolina, if you're tuning in, if you're not a regular. If you are, uh, some of this stuff, I mean, you've caught a glimpse of some of this stuff, but a lot of these points you, you, you're not going to have seen. They're from earlier videos, and when I go back, I realize, man, only 13 people have seen this video, and this is a smoking artifact. For example, this is one that not a lot of people have seen, riddled with the yellow. But I also add to it the really cool, unique quality of the quartz here in uh, eastern North Carolina and their ability to work it. Some of these, even like this one, uh, they're wonderful on either side, so I won't touch them a whole lot. The light is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to go right around, and it's, uh, it's full of smokers in this because it's from top shelf on my display box but they are also unique and I want you to just keep in mind as you see these the banding through the quartz of different colors predominantly yellow in these as we go around you'll see uh, and I think the lights perfect for it it'll show it true predominantly yellow this was a great piece I found over at the plateau and uh, I mean to tell you you know how hard and how, how just resilient quartz is. Look at this piece. Found it at the cove. Comes into focus. See the yellow now? Exactly what I'm talking about. Same type of material as these. Scrapers. What a great thing, right? What a really cool, interesting thought. Now it's just mineral. It's just different types of stone, but that's how I've organized these points. Not in particular dispensation, not in particular style, but just because of the type of stone. You're going to see a really cool thing on this point if you can pick it up. I don't know if you can. It's relieved right off the back here. Just worked every square inch. Mm. 
Nice, right? Just beautiful. Keep an eye on my time. There's a great piece with the yellow. A little bit more translucent. I need to tell you, um, thank you for many of you out there, Ohio Flint guy and what have you, that talk to me about quartz and help me understand its rarity. I, for the last three years, have just considered it an abundant quality. Excuse me, an abundant material. It is here. Look at this point. You've got to see this. I'm going to take the time today, winter time. You know, why not? Just post it up there. If you don't want to look at it, um, don't. <laughs> you know, it's as simple as that. You can just turn the thing off, you know. We can be particular viewers now, what we want to see. Now, I do, and I will put this out for a lot of them, like Richard Rockhouse and what have you. I can't even imagine, and there's such stellar artifacts many of you guys find, and I try to go back in time to check them out, and I do, but I'm stunned that so many people, uh, relatively few, get to go back in time with people's videos to check out just some of the most incredible finds. Like, this is on video, but it's like four years ago, and... 13 people have seen it, found, live, you know. I mean, look at this piece. Accents of the yellow and the pink. It is ground off the back here to produce the bevel. Just incredible. So I'll encourage you and give you just a... A bit of a challenge. Go to the guys who like the kind of artifacts they're finding, whether it's the Ditch Walker, or whatever out there, or Flint's Ball. Check out their early videos and see. I mean, because to begin with, they started to find smokers to begin with. We all did, uh, and post them. But uh, only when they become popular do a lot of their recent videos get seen, and I think that's a shame. Uh, ah, there's a lot of people that are missing out, so don't miss out. Go back in time. I challenge you for that. This is a Absolutely incredible point right here. Take a look at this in slow motion. If you could only feel this point, it is, if I can have the right light on it while I do it, strong and awesome. And every bit worked. Picking this up, I mean, uh, the camera work was so shatty when I found it, I just... Uh, just sort of documenting films, not even for YouTube, but just for the possibility of my sons when I found it. But uh, when appreciation grows, you know, you got to revisit these things. Incredible point. So we rounded out here. This point was fairly recent. This was a great point found at Crystal Beach. Was Crystal Beach, this, this location, was known uh, three years. I discovered it after I did this, and it was only about seven, eight, nine hundred yards difference. So, uh, you know, keep moving forward and think outside the box. And as I finish, take a look at this. You might think it's a little crude. It's got the accents of yellow and the clear crystal. I did find it at Stone Mountain. It was just, I didn't really get it on film as a find, so I wanted to show you this. It is durable, big, strong. It's worked every inch, so I wanted to give it its credit with the yellow. Just unbelievable to me. You could feel how they've just flaked away at all the different angles they could to make it work. To me, just a great point. Fantastic piece. Right? Anyway, appreciation is appreciation. The North American Indian, I, I sure wish I could have just... Oh, we forgot the middle ones before my time clicks on. I mean, forget those two. Are you kidding me? Holy smoke. This one about three years ago in uh, Site 7. I don't get to get out there that often where Coyote Pass is in Stillwater. What a great little Guilford straight base. I mean to work that quartz. And that one had just the accents of yellow. Just a little. Not as much as some. I mean not as much as this. I mean or any of those. But it had a little bit. So look at this thing as we finish up here. And I don't want to let this go too long before it cuts me off and ruins my video. This is a smoking piece with yellow accents. Of course, it's translucent. It all is, so I don't hold a lot of it up. You'll pick it up in this lighting. I didn't even have this on video real well. If you go back in time, you'll find it. But I didn't even know what I found. 
I was a novice. Uh, maybe I'm not anymore. I mean, I got a lot to learn. But look at that. Well, what I do know is that's an incredible piece with the accents of yellow through it. I don't even know if that's coming out. What they could do, right? I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate. Anyway, for all you guys out there who are sitting the winter through and trying to hope and look forward to some good, good hunting coming up, just wanted to put that out there for you. Important tools down here. Great looking stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in to Indian Trace.